Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where I want to delve a little bit more into what the MPhys is at the Open University. So the MPhys Master of Physics is a brand new qualification at the Open University this year and you can opt to choose uh, or to specialise in either physics or astrophysics with space science. So what is an MPhys? So it is an undergraduate master's, so integrated master's degree. It differs from an MSc, for example, in that an MSc is a postgraduate study, usually 180 credits, and you'd need your undergrad degree to go on to that master's course or to be accepted onto it. Whereas the integrated masters, you do your undergrad study first. You do 360 credits undergrad, then you do a further 120 credits at a postgrad. So in total for an integrated masters, you do 480 credits. If you study full time, that's going to be four years. For me, and a lot of people at the Open University doing it part time, that's going to be eight years. It's a long time, but for me, as I mentioned in my first video, it's just a passion I've had for a long time and I'm excited to get started on it. So the integrated masters at Open University, even though it's brand new for this year, the modules, especially level one, level two, pretty much level three as well, um, are all modules which you can find on their Bachelor of Science Physics um, pathway, but also on their Astronomy and Planetary Science pathway. So for example, I think both physics and the astronomy degrees, level one is S111 questions in science, then you've got your essential maths one, and then you've got physics in space, SM123. So, so there's some people who have done those modules already who've been registered on a different degree, who have now opted to change their degree and go on to the masters. So they, even though it's a new qualification this year, will already have done maybe the first year, some may have even done the first two years, some maybe even nearly finished it, who knows. Um, so yeah, a lot of the modules do transfer over and the Open University are really good like that. They will, as long as you've done the right modules, they'll quite happily transfer you on to a different degree course quite quickly without any fuss. And that's the same for any of their undergrad as well, because a lot of the first year modules do overrun slightly in a specific area. I think like arts and humanities all have pretty much the same first le level one modules. So if you wanted to go from maybe English language to classical studies, it's so easy to do because you've already done the right modules, the modules needed. So anyway, with the MPhys at the OU, there's three different starts um, that you can choose from. So there's the I don't know if it's normal start or the regular start. So that is, like I just explained, S111 questions in science, your physics in space, SN123, and your essential maths, MST124. So this would probably be beneficial for anyone who hasn't studied for a long time or hasn't studied science for a long time. Personally, for me, um, I just completed an AS level physics with NEC, National Extension College. Um, and also I'm doing, as I mentioned in the other video, uh, the 20 credit module from the University of Central Lancashire in Astronomy, which I'm doing all right in as well. So for me, I'd quite happily skip S111 if I can. There's also a math start. So this is probably more aimed at if you're looking at the physics route or if you like maths. And I think it does all the maths modules at level one. So I think it's MU123, which is the discovering maths, your basic entry level, sort of GCSE level maths. Essential maths one, essential maths two, and there's another maths module there as well. However, the start I'm going for is the advanced start. So what that does is completely wipes off S111. And then you just start straight in with um, physics and space and essential maths one. So you still need to do 120 credits at level one, but what they allow you to do with this start is to take 60 credits from level two. And the 60 credits they're offering are two 30 credit modules. I think there may be a, a couple of other options or another option, but the two that I'm doing are astronomy, I think it's S283 or S284, either way, astronomy, and there's another module, um, planetary science and the search for life. So they're normally level two modules, but they allow you to use them as your level one modules. So when you then get to level two, everyone does the same at level two. It's your physics module, 60 credits, I believe. It's S217, physics from classical to quantum. And then there's a 30 credit maths module and there's a 30 credit, um, I think it's like a project module with space and physics. 
I should have looked up what it was called, but I didn't. So everyone does that no matter what pathway you're doing. Um, and as I said in my previous video, the reason that I was put off by doing the undergrad degrees with the OU is I was really interested in astronomy, but the astronomy pathway, you couldn't do the physics module. And I felt like the physics module would give you some underpinning knowledge in physics that you'd need later on. And I really wanted to do that. But if you did the physics degree and the physics pathway, you do the physics module, but you wouldn't then do the astronomy and the planetary science module, which I really wanted to do because that's what I'm interested in. So this advanced diet is the best of both worlds because it lets you do the astronomy and the planetary science modules, but now at level one and then level two, you then do your physics module win win for me. So that's level two. Level three is then when you start to pick which pathway you want. So up until that point, you could be undecided. You could be like, oh, I want to do physics. Oh, I want to do astronomy. And you can go back and forth between the two, but it's level three when you need to pick which pathway you want to choose. So to start off with, there's 60 credits physics modules and there are 230 credit modules. I believe it's electromagnetism and the quantum realm or something like that. And then you pick another 60 credits, but it will be for your specialised pathway. So if you're choosing physics, I believe there's um, a couple of different physics modules. I didn't know. I didn't really look at those because it's not what I want to do. And then the astrophysics modules there is. Astrophysics is a module in its right. And then there's, I think it's the, I'm going to get this wrong because I've tried to pronounce it before. The relativistic universe. You look it up. It's on there. Um, so that's your level three, and that's your 360 credits, which would normally be your undergrad. And then you go into level four, which is your postgrad part of the masters. And um, once again, depending what pathway you're doing for the astrophysics, the module is a 60 credit module, space science. And then I think the physics route has a couple of 30 credit modules that you can choose from. Uh, once again, I didn't really look too much detail because it's not what I want to do. And then the final 60 credit module is a research project module, which is pretty much the bog standard for the OU at science anyway. Like even all the undergrad um, degrees, you'll have uh, the last module, either 30 or 60 credits will be a research project. Um, I think they're usually 30 credits to be fair at undergrad, but this one, postgrad, 60 credit module, research project, I haven't been able to really look at the details of it because it hasn't started yet. So it starts for the first time next year in 2023. So I don't really know what the is in the description, module description on the um, OU website. But yeah, so that is basically the MFIS at the OU in a nutshell. Don't shoot me if I've got anything wrong because I haven't started it yet. I'm just going from the information I've got from the online website. I'm not going to go into too much detail about, you know, financing and stuff like that. There's so many videos on YouTube about um, life at the OU, how you apply, the website, how you do TMAs. Um, plus, I can't really give information on TMAs at the moment because I haven't done a science one. I've done law ones, but I don't think <laughs> astrophysics masters is going to require me to tell you about the law or write a problem question. So yeah, but uh, one thing I will say, how I'm funding my degree, how I funded the first one and how I'm gonna do the next one is self-funding through USBA. Now USBA is the Uni Open University Student Budget Account. And basically what happens is it's like a loan, you apply to USBA, they pay your tuition fees to the OU, and then each month you then pay them back. So it's in monthly installments, makes it a lot easier. Um, that's what I'm doing this year as well for my next modules I've already enrolled on to. Student finance, I haven't got a clue about. I've never used it. Um, from what I'm aware, you can get them for any undergrad degree. And also, if you've got an undergrad degree but you want to do a second degree, you can get funding if it's a STEM subject. So like this would be. And the MFIS is classed as an undergrad. So it's undergrad funding, not master's funding. Um, so that's an important thing to mention. Um, and from what I've been told, once again, don't shoot me because I haven't applied. But on the Facebook groups, people are saying that normally you get your 360 credits funding as student finance and then you get an extra 120 credits just in case anything goes wrong or anything like that. And that is apparently also the case for the MFIS. So you'll get your 480 credit funding and then an additional 120 credits for it if anything goes wrong. That's what I've been told. Anyway, um, so yeah. 
I'm looking at doing the review of my law degree video uh, at some point in the next few weeks or at the end of the month. Also, I'm once sort of September comes, once I get the materials for the modules I've signed up for the, for the NVIS, I'll do an introductory video when the mod, uh, module website opens to give a little brief introduction. And then I'm going to try and do videos at least once a month just to see how it's going, see the progress, tell you what I've studied that last month. Um, so yeah, that's the plan anyway. Um, yeah, I'll have my law one up in the next month or so. I want to do a results one for my law degree as well. And then yeah, a monthly vlog, vlog would be nice to do. So that is the plan. Thanks for watching. And yeah, as I say, hopefully soon I'll have the law video up. But until the next time, thank you.